Good morning. I am Wade, and I am founder of the Bod Garage. My beautiful wife, Allie. Uh, I told her she needed to take a break today. She has been working vigorously uh, every single day uh, with new clients coming on. So I'm going to take her place today, and we are going to focus on core. And I'm going to tell you why we focus on core and why we do it probably twice a week. I've had two back surgeries. And after the first one, I really didn't, t this was, I was much younger. And I really didn't take care of myself like I should have. And I was out playing golf after two weeks of having back surgery. And uh, in two years, it went out again. The same disc, a different rupture. Um, and this time, I did what I was supposed to do. I went through extensive therapy after the surgery and my physical therapist focused on core for my lower back because when you have a strong core it takes the pressure off of your lower back okay now that's very important for you to remember because listen when we get in our 40s sometimes in our 30s like I was and up lower back pain uh, increases as we get older due to the fact that you got to think about it your lower back bends all the time okay so if you take two discs which are two pieces of your vertebrae in the middle of those is like a balloon okay and that's your disc okay so when you squeeze when you bend over it squeezes on that balloon so you can imagine if I had a balloon in my hands and every time I bent over it was squeezing that balloon out okay just like a water balloon would all right and eventually if you don't take care of your lower back and you don't keep a strong core that balloon will get a leak and that leak will cause sciatic nerve pain that's where your pain comes from it's due to the fact that that disc has pushed out and it is starting to touch that nerve all right so you've heard of bulging disc that is when it is swollen out okay so you have to take uh, a steroid pack a lot of you I'm sure have taken these steroid packs um, anti-inflammation uh, medicine and it shrinks that balloon back and it takes it off of that nerve all right so if you're ever wondering where in the world is the pain coming from 95% of the time it's coming from a nerve it's not necessarily the bones in your back it's due to the fact that that balloon is pushed out and it's starting to touch that nerve and the slightest touch of that nerve or it may push that nerve back against your vertebrae touching the bone okay that's where you get a pinch nerve and those are not fun so the focus is core that's why we focus a lot on our core to help with our lower back also okay so we're gonna go ahead and start I've got I've got about 26 more minutes and I haven't even started so we're going to kind of uh, push through this uh, we'll we'll take very short breaks but I want to keep that core really really tight for the remainder of this program okay all right so I want everybody to get down like this the first exercise is your favorite and mine and it's a plank now you can do this plank Two or three different ways all right if you've never done a plank before then you might want to do it from your knees and your forearms like this forearms down on your knees like this back straight I don't want your back up like this I don't want it down like this I want it straight all right and you squeeze those abs squeeze them okay and you hold it for 30 seconds so we're gonna do 30 second planks if you have done planks before and you think that's too easy then you can do it like I do 
and that's in a push-up position like this so you can see me like this except we're not going to go down okay we're going to stay here back straight not like that not like that just like that okay all right you ready so you can do it either way but I want you to work up to being able to do it in a push-up position, okay? All right, everybody ready? All right, let's go. Let me make sure you can see me. On the count of three, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good. All right, stretch that back out. All right, just stretch it. You know, when you stay in a position like that, you want to make sure you keep that lower back stretched out, okay? When you stretch, I don't want you bouncing. You know, you see a lot of people trying to touch the floor and they keep bouncing. That's a little too much stress. Just go down where you can and just hang there. You can feel the stretch, okay? That's all you need to do. I also want you to make sure you're taking in your water. I know Allie's talked about this many, many, many times. <clears throat> I think she's had you people start with half a gallon and then work up to three quarters. And I think this week she was wanting you to try to get in a gallon of water. Now a gallon of water a day, you may think is a whole lot of water, but this is what it does. It helps continually flush out your system, okay? If you're not taking in water, your body starts to hold on to water right in here, okay? That's where your water weight's gonna be. Everybody has water weight, okay? Regardless of how much you weigh, everybody is holding more water than what they should because 90% of the people out there don't drink enough water during the day, okay? They don't like the way it tastes. They can't take it if it's too cold. They don't like it unless it's cold. There's a lot of excuses out there. The bottom line is make sure your water is where you can drink it. Number one, that's your responsibility and drink the water, okay? Here's the thing, if your water thinks, if, you, if your water, if your body thinks that it's going to continue to get water, it will continue to flush out, all right? That's what you want. Now in the beginning, you may think, I'm going to the bathroom every 15, 20 minutes. Well, that will slow down, but you have to let your body get used to getting all that water. I promise you, it's a very good thing. It's very important in weight loss. Believe it or not, water is very important in weight loss because it continually builds up your metabolism. It causes your metabolism to work. And that's what we focus on at the Bod Garage. We focus on getting your metabolism burning like wildfire. Because when you start eating all this clean food you're gonna be eating, then your body is going to burn it rapidly and there's not gonna be anything left. And that's how you want it. You want your body to burn what you put in. You don't want it to sit there, okay? All right, make sure you get your water. That was the tip of the day, water tip. Now you may not think this is the most intense workout, but it's, I'm trying to give you a lot of information, okay? A lot of very positive, accurate information that you need. All right, let's get back down in plank position again. Everybody ready? And up. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Good job. Good job. We're going to go right into the next exercise. This is called a spider plank. All right, I'll demonstrate it for you. Hands and knees. Okay. Now I want you to take your right knee and pull it up towards your right elbow like this. Boom. Okay. Boom, pull it up there and squeeze. I want you to turn your body into it, okay? Turn the top part of your body into your knee as it comes up. Just like a slinky. I want the side of your body turning in like a slinky does, okay? That works your obliques, okay? Right on the side. It's part of your abs. All right, we're gonna do 10 each side, and then we'll rest. Everybody ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, switch legs, back to the first leg, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, switch legs, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good job stretch that back out just sit back on the heels of your feet stretching it out catch your breath all right here we go we can do another set of those. Everybody ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, switch legs, let's go again. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch legs, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Stretch it out, lean back. Stretch that lower back out. Stretch those abs. Arch your back. You'll feel your abs stretch out. All right, all right, everybody up. Okay, take a deep breath. Make sure you're taking that water in, guys. It's very important. <clears throat> I want you to think about your muscles as a grape, okay? Your muscles are about 75% water. So you wanna keep your muscles full, okay? Like a grape. What happens when a grape doesn't have enough fluid, doesn't have enough water? It starts to wrinkle up, okay? your muscles will do the same. If your muscles don't have enough water in them, then they will get smaller and they will get weaker, OK? 
okay? We focus on body weight exercises in the mornings. Number one, it gets your heart rate up. It makes you feel better during the day. It gives you more energy, believe it or not. And you'll see that just after a few days of doing it. Okay? We do not work the same body part every single day. We work legs, we work core, we work arms, and then we work legs again and core. Okay? That's how Monday through Friday usually goes. Okay? All right. Next exercise. Everybody down on your back. Okay? Get where you can see me. Right here. Get as close as I can. Okay? All right. Legs straight out. Just rest for a second. Actually, you can't see my feet, can you? Let's go it like this. Okay? You can put your hands under your bottom if you want to. It kind of puts a little arch in your lower back. Okay? What I want you to do is we're going to be doing leg lifts. Okay? And the way we do them is we, we go up six inches. We go out. We go in. We go down. But we never touch the floor. Once we start... Your legs are always in the air, okay? Even when I say on down, you don't go to the floor, all right? Everybody up, everybody ready? And up six inches and out and in and down and out and in and down and up, out, in, down. 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 Up, out, in, down, and rest. All right. Okay. You kind of get the gist of it. You see me with my head up. I try to keep my head up most of the time. Doing that really puts pressure on the core. Let me give you another tip about working core. Any exercise you do by raising your head works the top portion of your core, okay? Any exercise you do lifting your feet works the bottom portion of your core, all right? And that's the hardest part. So we focus on lifting our legs. We work on that a lot, okay? Now I'll tell you why it's the hardest. Because the majority of the people think that if they do crunches, that they're working all of their abs, okay? They're not. They're working the top part. And that's what most people do. They think working the core means doing something, doing an exercise where you have to lift your head. You do exercises lifting your feet, and you'll see the bottom part of your stomach start to form. Okay? Trust me when I say this. Abs are built in the kitchen, guys. They're not built on the floor. What we're doing is we're strengthening them. We're making them strong, okay? But your abs are already there. You just got to get down to them. And what does that mean? That means nutrition. Nutrition is 85% of what changes your body, okay? And that's what we focus on at the Bod Garage, your nutrition. Yes, we do have workout programs. Yes, you will be doing workout programs, body weight exercises, in the gym workouts. But you can go to the gym six days a week, guys, and work two hours a day. And you're never going to reach your goal as far as what you want your body to look like. 
unless you do the correct nutrition. It's very important. I want you to remember that. And we focus on nutrition. So, another tip for you. Everybody ready? Here we go. We're going leg lifts again. As you can see, my head is never going to touch the floor. Okay? I'm not doing like this. I'm doing like this. This way I'm working the top part and the bottom part. All right, everybody ready? And up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up. Come on, I'm not giving you much time on the down. Up, out, in, 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 down. Up, hold it, out, hold it, in, hold it, and down and rest. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, get that water. Take you a big drink of water. All right, we've got about eight more minutes, okay? We're gonna keep on doing core for eight more minutes, all right? <clears throat> and just another tip. If you think that you're getting enough water in your system by drinking tea all day or drinking coffee all day, you say, well, it's got water in it. It's also possibly got caffeine. Even decaffeinated has caffeine. Don't, don't let that fool you, okay? So that dehydrates you. Water is water. Just take in the water. All right, it, de it, it hydrates your body better and faster than any other liquid, okay? <clears throat> when I mean a gallon of water a day, I don't mean a small bottle of water and six glasses of tea and five glasses of Coke and three, gla three cups of coffee. If that doesn't count, don't count it, all right? Only count the water. Come on, guys. Y'all know that. All right, let's get back down. We got time for one more of these. Up, out, in, down. Then we're going to ride that bicycle, guys. All right, ready? One more set of these. Feet out. Head up. If you can do it like this, ready, go. Up, out, in, down, up. 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 Come on. Out, in, down, up. Hold it. Come on. Hold it right there. It's burning. Hold out. Hold it. In. Hold it. Come on. And down. Rest. Good. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right. We've got about five more minutes. Make sure you get your water in, catch your breath, everybody off the floor. All right. All right, we got time for one more exercise. So we're gonna ride that bicycle. <clears throat> So I want everybody back down on the floor. Let me check the time. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> back down on your back. This is 
is not nap time, guys. Trust me, it's not nap time. All right. Back down. All right, I want your hands on the floor like you're pressing into the floor, okay? I want your head up with this one too. Come on, we're gonna work the whole core. No rest for the weary. All right, feet up like this. Okay, knees bent. I want you to ride that bicycle. Let's go, come on. Push down on the floor with your feet, with your hands. Keep that head up. Feel the squeeze, all right? I want you to squeeze those abs, okay? You're working from the bottom and you're working from the top. Keep on going, you can do it. Come on, pull those knees up, let's go. Come on. You can even do it like this if you want to, okay? If your head gets tired, then rest it in your hands. Gives you a little, a little break. I'm gonna give you a little break. All right, down, rest. Now, put your head down. Feel that core stretch out. Take a deep breath. All right, let's go. Ride it, let's go, come on. You got this, let's go, come on. You can do this. Keep going, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Rest, okay. I want you guys to stay down there. I'm just checking the time, we're good. All right. <clears throat> one more exercise. <laughs> I told you this was the last one. Well, this is really the last one, okay? We got about three minutes. Two and a half minutes, okay? All right. So this time I want you to put your hands under your bottom again, okay? Feet straight out, six inches off the ground, boom, like that. Get where you can see. Six inches off the ground, like this. All right? I want you to bring one leg up at a time. Boom, boom. Bring that knee up as close to your chest as you can. Straighten that other leg out, hold it. Just like this, hold it. That foot is not touching, guys, come on. Down, come on, other leg, hold it, change legs, now, let's go, boom, 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 keep that leg off the floor, pull that knee up, pull, 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 pull that knee, come on, pull it, one, two, three, four, and five, good job. Good job, guys. All right, you can get up. <sighs> okay, we have one minute left. <sighs> Don't ever let anybody tell you that body weight exercises will not get your body in shape. They will, trust me, they will, okay? Allie and I both built our structure and our foundation of working out from these exercises, body weight exercises, okay? They will get you there. We're not trying to be a bodybuilder, okay? We're trying to be strong. We're trying to focus on every little muscle group and strengthen it, okay? That's what's important. Again, I'm Wade, founder of The Bod Garage, and, uh, I'll probably be doing a few more of these over the next week or so, okay? I know you'd rather have Allie and she will be back, but she's got so much going on with new clients coming on that 
she called me in to kind of help her out a little bit. So we love you guys. Take care of yourself and have a great day.